the state of Washington really is earthquake prone. Over the next 50 years, there's likely to be a damaging earthquake. It's easy to get wrapped up in the notion that when an earthquake happens, it will just flatten everything. And that's patently not true. It is not like, oh, what can we do? There are so many things that we can do. Especially dangerous are older structures made of brick or stone. We call them unreinforced masonry buildings, URM. Most of the time, they collapse, either fully or partially. You expect them to collapse, like that is the expectation. The downtown section of Santa Cruz is basically gone. All the old brick, unreinforced buildings have collapsed. During an earthquake, the exterior walls really start to pull away and separate from the floors, and then they can collapse away from the building and lead to the collapse of the building itself. URMs are dangerous to anyone using adjacent buildings or people walking in the street or even cars in the roadways. A disproportionate amount of the damage in Christchurch came from URMs. The entire downtown area of Christchurch was shut for the best part of two years. The societal and economic impact of this is profound. Bricks crashed onto the sidewalks. Yeah, Missing people by a few feet a was very, very lucky. People here say it's a miracle no one was walking underneath. Very lucky because with all, with all the historic buildings in this region that the damage could have been uh, much uh, worse. We're nothing close to what it could have been with an earthquake of this magnitude. We're very fortunate. We're very lucky. fortunate because the earthquake was as deep as it was. It a very hectic day, but it also could have been much worse. Statewide, we estimate there are up to 33,000 unreinforced masonry buildings. And these are not just on the west side of the state, but the east side of the state that also has a seismic hazard. It's not just a Seattle issue, it's not just a Tacoma issue, it's I any mean, Washington State issue. Retrofitting URMs is one of the most important things we can do because it will save lives. The benefit is protecting the, the general public, people that could be walking by a building, on the sidewalk. They're primarily concentrated in old downtowns and charming historic neighborhoods. All these buildings end up having the character of their downtown, of their city, and that's why they're important historic places that we want to preserve. We cannot predict earthquakes, but we can predict the performance of URMs in an earthquake. We know these buildings are vulnerable. We know how to design retrofits to these buildings. There's a big need there for these buildings to be brought up to modern standards of earthquake safety. In Turkey, over 50,000 people died. We're facing something very similar. And we have been very lucky, very lucky here that we haven't had a large earthquake. And we will have one. We don't know when, but we've been very lucky so far. So this is our time window to do something about it.